Hey guys, uh, what's happening? Ryan here with Jetta Patrol. Today we are at, uh, we're, well, we're, we're at Lowe's and uh, I got a project for you guys. It's gonna up your display game. I'm telling you what, it's gonna be a good day. Let's go. All right guys, so we're here at Lowe's. I'm here picking up some things for you guys because this is going to be flipping epic. So a couple things I need to pick up. Start with this. Ugh. Steel pegboard. We're gonna start with this guy. You can see all the lights shining through here. That's gonna be a lot of fun. So st this is 11 bucks, 11 bucks, simple. I'm gonna buy a couple of these. So we got those, so I got, that was kind of loud. And then I've also got these little utility hangers. These are like three or $4 a pack. So I'm gonna get a pile of these things. And also we need something that's on a separate aisle. So bear with me, We're gonna, this is gonna be good. Let's go. What's up guys, we're back here in the studio and if you did not know, I actually have quite a few Black Series figures. Obviously I've got a pile of the Funko Pops and I was looking for some way to display them that was a little more creative than what I've currently got. Which is not bad, it's not bad. Uh, so I've got them in Detoff cabinets. I took all of my hot toys, put them in the custom displays you guys have seen. I've got Black Series figures here, and some of them are, like knocked over. Some of them have been uh, they've like this. They they've had bad days. They keep, they fall over. But uh, this is okay. I've got some vehicles in here, and I'll do like a whole collection video on that at some point. But I have an area in the room that needs an upgrade, and I thought we'd take a look at it. So let's walk over here, guys. We actually have this wall right here. That's, I used to have a print on. I had a Darth Vader Stormtrooper print uh, on this wall right here, but I wanted something a little, uh, just different. I wanted somewhere I could put some pops on, that I could put some Black Series figures on that would be more creative, and that's what we're doing today. So uh, let's get right into it. All right guys, so what I've got here is a steel pegboard from Lowe's. You saw I picked this up earlier. This stuff right here is just 16 by 16, it's 11 bucks a piece. Actually pretty affordable. They've got uh, you know MDF board, they've got all kinds of different sizes. I thought this worked well for me because it's black, it looks like Star Wars, it's gonna be awesome. The idea we're gonna do here guys is I'm actually gonna connect three of these on that wall, but first on the back, to give it a little more oomph, uh, I'm actually going to put some LED strips behind it, so they're actually going to shine through here and look pretty amazing. So let's go ahead and do that. I've got these upside down, uh, and they actually interlock. they got these little interlocking circle deals. So we're just going to interlock three of these things, and I believe they're just going to go just like that. There's one, two, and then this should be three. So let me get this piece out of the way. And these are our three panels that we're going to have. So I actually have... Uh, leftover LED strips from another project we're going to line right here with just some double-sided tape. So that should be pretty simple. Uh, I got this next piece and we're actually going to be sticking on the LEDs. Now I thought that by getting some double-sided tape uh, I would be able to get the uh, LED strips to stick on here but it doesn't want to stick so I'm actually having to pull the backing off of the LED strip. Uh, so this is kind of what we got going on. Let's show you guys. So I've got this LED strip. The plan was again to line it with uh, with this stuff but that's clearly not going to work so i'm just literally just pulling the backing off of here and sticking it through and the plan is to go all the way around all the way around and uh we'll see how much we get because i'm using uh some leftover led strips that i have just laying around so uh we'll see how it goes as you can see i've got them all the way around I, again i tried to use the double side tape but i decided that that didn't really want to work so i pulled the backing strip off of all of the tape and literally, the corners are kind of a tough spot to deal with, so I just kind of kind of bent up here. They're going alongside. As you can see, I had enough. I actually had a little bit extra, uh, but decided to cut the light here. This is where the actual plug is going to come in from the wall, so you have power. And uh, it's going to look pretty good when we get it up on the wall. So next thing we got to do is we actually have to mount it.
right, guys, we are done with the installation. Look at this thing. It looks amazing. Not going to lie. I'm pretty, I'm pretty, I'm, I'm a little proud of myself at this moment. Doc, I'm just going to say it. I've got some pretty cool displays in the room, uh, but this right here looks amazing. So as you guys saw, we went to Lowe's, we picked up some uh, pegboard. This stuff is designed to go in garages, hanging tools, hammers, you know, whatever, shovels, whatever stuff you want to hang, bicycles. Uh, I decided I wanted to have something cool. Uh, bought a couple of these things. I actually have three of them. I had room for three. You can actually, if you wanted to, you can actually uh, connect as many as you like. You can have a whole wall of these things if you wanted to. Uh, I had room on this wall for three. I Previously, I had a piece of art hanging here. Wanted to change that up. Wanted to put some more action figures on here. So what I did is I got the little, uh, I'll show you guys right here. got these little things right here, these little hooks. They peg into it. You get them in the same section as where you buy the, the board. Uh, and then I took some Alexan or acrylic and I cut it uh, in, in, uh, in little sheets. So you guys can see right here. Little sheets right here. So you can actually see some of the LEDs popping through there. I thought about doing stainless and I was like, nah, we are going to do uh, some Lexan or some plexiglass. Super easy to do. Not difficult at all. Some people would say it was super easy. Barely an inconvenience. But that might be a, that might be another channel. I don't know. Anyway, so I'm super excited about this. You guys can see what we've got going on right here with uh, the Black Series figures. I'm going to throw some pops up here in just a minute. And you guys can see, you know, whether you're a pop collector, action figure collector, or both. Whatever. You can have them mixed in. Uh, but I think it looks pretty freaking good. I would love to hear from you guys. Let me know what you think about this thing. I'm going to throw some pops up here. And uh, let's see what that looks like. I hope you guys really enjoyed this tutorial. I know it was simple, it was easy, it was inexpensive. And if you want to know all the parts for it, I'll put a link in the description below so you can find all the pieces you need. No joke, I think I've got um, like 30, like 50 bucks, 60 bucks in this thing. Not a whole lot. I already had the LED, so if you don't have those, maybe another 20 bucks. It all depends on how many actual panels you need to build. Uh, and obviously the most expensive parts are actually the little hooks because you got to buy a lot of those So uh, I'm gonna be playing around with this you may see it change up in future videos But I think in the uh, let's see if I go on this side uh, in the uh, my workstation right here I got my little stormtrooper clone trooper uh, helmet going on there. This is this is where I work guys This is this is what I do So I thought it'd be a good space to go ahead and add some awesome stuff because right here was looking a little dark with just some art prints and no lights and uh, I think it looks awesome. So obviously orange blue it all goes together right it's awesome so i'd love to hear from you guys let me know what you think about this installation are you going to try it and uh, stay tuned for another one i've got some other stuff coming up it will also spice up your displays so guys as always click what you like see you next time